And welcome back, gamers, to SKS Plays Game Dev Tycoon. Last time we left off, the market had something great. Now the market has normalized. So, it looks like he needs a vacation. So we're going to send Ben on a vacation so his bar fills back up. And what do we want to do? Better AI, 2D graphics. We're down to $1 million. We really need to... See, we could do virtual pet. Oh man, a virtual pet game on the the gameling, or as we like to call it, you know, the uh, the Game Boy. That could be something to go after, right? That's what I was thinking. I don't know. Let me look through my notes that I have here. That have things that I have made. My Wild West RPG by far has been the best one that I've had. As you all have seen up to this point, I'm not very good at this. So, a virtual pet simulation. Yeah, let's do that. And then when Ben gets back, and I was thinking about hiring somebody else, but I just don't. Oh, we're below a million. The big game convention will take place in four weeks' time. Do you want to participate? A small booth is 80k. Yeah, we need to get some hype in our country. In our country. In our company. So let's see here. Virtual pet. Do I want to hire somebody else? Don't try to hire everyone at once since staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go best. It's best to take it slow. Well, in that case, no. We'll be okay. All right. He's back. Hey, here's our convention. Going west. Oh, wow. Over 20,000 people showed up? 30,000? 40,000. Wow. 44,000 people come and saw us. That's not bad at all. We had 44,069 people visiting our booth this year. We didn't make it in the top 100 booths this year. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. That's pretty awesome because we only have 5.4, you know, thousand. All right, let's make a new game. Um, being on the gameling, which I know I'm going to have to pay for that. Let's make it for young. We'll make it a small game. Virtual pet simulation. 50,000. I think that's worth it. And we'll use the SKS version 2. It's trying to tell me something, but I can't see what it's trying to tell me. See, it's got something back there, gamers, but it doesn't... Oh, well, I guess we have to go with this one. What do we want to call this? Um, it's dealing with animal... Let's call it a... Uh, let's call it Harvest Moon. No, no, no. Let's call it Raising Puppy. Sounds like a good one. For Young. Gameling. Next. 2D Graphics. Now... With this being a simulation, we definitely need to have our engine way up, our gameplay way up, and stories and quests, so-so. Eh, Bam! I wish I would get rid of that. New research available. Sequels. Ooh, we could have a sequel to High Noon. That would be cool. Oh, we need to do some marketing on this game. 500 k uh, No. Let's... Let's do magazines and demos. Um... Let's see. In a simulation, we don't really need dialogues. Artificial intelligence. There we go. Hype's going up. Look at that, gamers. Virtual pet simulation. Like it. Mono sound. 
Let's see, world design, we can leave right about there, and then sound. Graphics, there we go. Become an epic game of monumental proportions! <laughs> this game has got to save us. That's the go, anyway. 3223. I'm trying to finish it. Today, Vani has announced their very own console called the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System prototype after Ninvento canceled the project. The new Play System comes with a CD ROM drive and 32 bit processors and is wholly owned by Vani. Industry. Professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Ninvento declined to comment. The Play System will enter the market next month. Oh my god. New topic. New combo. Great combo! Yeah! Leveled up gameplay. World design. Graphics leveled up. I leveled up. And so did Ben. Awesome. That means he gets raised. That's kind of bad. Due to the increase in experience, the following staff have earned a raise. Oh my god. New research available. Character progression. So hopefully this game. The first reviews for our newly released game, Raising Puppy, came in. Come on. Played it for days. An eight. That's not bad. Seven. Good game. Seven. Enjoyable. Seven. Nice experience. Oh, well, it wasn't the perfect game. But I guess it helped. So let's research... Sequels. And you, I'll have you research... Oh, that's 40. Darn. That is so much money there. Better AI. Hopefully this thing can make me some money. Today the new system platform by Vani has been released. We're hemorrhaging money right now, gamers. I just want y'all to know that. Raising Puppy was not the, uh... was not the game that I thought it would be. Let's do a publishing deal. Uh, no license. Military strategy game. Minimum score of five. I don't have license for any of these. I think we can knock this one out. We'll call this one... Conquer Kings. It'll be a small game. It's going to be for everybody. A military strategy. Oh, I don't want to. I can't do that. Let's put it on the PC. Why is this not letting me pick this? There we go. See, I should have been able to use it on the other one and it wouldn't let me. You all saw that, gamers. Let's do 3D graphics. So military strategy, engine, this, story, oh yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad, calm down, I'll work on the engine, he can work on that, and see the back is kind of messing with me, it's not letting me do what I want to, let's do simple cutscenes. It seems that adventure games are especially popular at the moment. Of course they are while I'm making a simulation game. I thought I was making a... I didn't think I was making a large game. Again, it's not letting me click on what I need to. Game! Okay, dialogues. Uh... Let's see there, and then I'll work on this. Better dialogues, level editor. Of course we're making this game for somebody else, watch it be awesome. 
Raising puppies now the market. It only made a half a million in sales. Oh my god, that means we're definitely losing money. There's some hype behind Conquer Kings, though. I think I spelled Conquer wrong. Let's make it open world. Graphics and sound need to be way up there. God, this is gonna suck. I'll do the graphics. And then I'll do the world design too. This is gonna be wonderful. I'm glad that I did this so I could screw my company over. Hooray! Let's get rid of those bugs. Alright, it's finished. Ooh, we leveled up engine? Doesn't matter if we're leveling up all this stuff, we're obviously not going to, uh... It's gotta make some money. Oh god, no, don't level up that fast! Multiplayer AI companion stereo sound. How about that? First reviews for a new release game, Conquer Kings, came in. These need to be over a five, right? Could have been more. Five falls a bit short. Come on, higher numbers. It shows potential. Five has its moments. Well, we gave them exactly what they wanted, right? Look how many it sold, though. Only a rank of 84. That sucks. I think we really can afford to, uh... Codemasters. The game meets the required ratings. We're looking forward to future business. Uh, as long as it's generating some sales. Oh, we're back up over a million. Thank lord. Let's develop a sequel. High noon. Do we want to make another game engine? Let's see. Character progression. Well, we got some cash here. We might as well. Ooh, multiplayer. Oh no! We can't do it! You can't do it! Oh my god, this is gonna be... This would be epic. This is gonna save our company. It's gonna be expensive, though. High Noon has got to be... Epic. We'll once again, do a small booth. Develop... No, no, no. We're gonna do the custom engine first, right? Doesn't need a steering wheel. Better AI. Open world. And hopefully we can select this one. Oh well, man, this is gonna take a while here. I should have made 3D graphics. Or maybe it's got them all. Seems that the market is normalized again with no par particular strong things. Well good, because we're not gonna make one of those adventure games anyway. If we have anybody show up. Nobody loves us. We got 14,000 fans. Oh wow, 55,000? Yowza. We didn't make it in the top 100 boosts. Once more, we game fans. I'm sure we will. Sure we will. Research points are going up, so that's pretty cool. Conquer Kings is now at the market. It sold one million. Wow, it made a lot of money for being a crappy game. SKS version three is now. In two months, Vinegar will be taken off the market. Awesome. What was High Noon on? Let's develop a sequel.
It's on the computer. Okay. So we'll develop a sequel for that. There it was. It's going to be a small game. It's going to be called High Noon. High Noon 2. Time's up. Okay, maybe not. High Noon 2, Target. Put it on the PC. So you gotta make sure that lights up. Okay, small game. Want to have 3D graphics. Now, <clears throat> character progression, we want that. Now it is a Wild West RPG with character progression. That is awesome. Let's crank this all the way up in gameplay in the engine. There we go. Oh, of course, one bug right off the start. That's a great way to start making a game, SKS. You're amazing. Better AI. So dialogues. Do we really need better AI in a game where we're not going to use a lot of it? Lots of dialogue. Level design is going to be up there. And the AI, eh, maybe we can use less with more. We need to uh, market this game. 150k, so hope we can get the hype up on it. World design, through the roof. Graphics. Sound. There we go. Boss, it seems that quite a few players use illegal copies of Conquer Kings. I managed to identify some of them. We could either sue them to defend our copyright or send them warnings to ask them to stop. Now I bought the game, gamers. This better not be the thing that's uh, activated to stop me. Um, let's warn them right away. We can always sue them later on. The hype is really getting up on this game. Get rid of those tin bugs, guys. Vena Gear is no longer supported. Sad. Doop, doop, doop. Looks like design's way up there. Oh, wow. SKS Systems has recently sent warnings to several players using illegal copies of their game, Conquer Kings. Piracy is an incredible big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We have gained 254 fans. Alright, so let's finish High Noon 2. Target. New record on design. Those numbers are going up slowly but surely. Oh wow, we leveled up 3D graphics. That's good. Let's release this game. Oh my. The first reviews for our newly released game, High Noon 2 Target. Come in. Mm, oh yes! Yes! Outstanding achievement. Best of its kind, outstanding achievement. Must have. Oh my god, can we get four tens? Oh, fuck you all games. Almost perfect. That is awesome. Let's send you on vacation. That is amazing. Cult status. Set a new standard for the early gaming industry. Look at the sales on that game. 150k units. Rank 1. SKS Systems has recently released a sequel to their game High Noon. The newest game in the series titled High Noon 2 Target was met with outstanding responses. Wow. What can you research? I think now we can afford to research uh, AI companions. Yeah, let's do that. Seems, seems like something cool, since uh, we're obviously very good at the RPG market. Yeah, they got the cash flow up. High Noon 2 Target, the newest game by SK System, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that High Noon 2 Target is one of those rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. 
Awesome. It seems that SKS Systems really has made gaming history with High Noon 2 Target. Well done. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. How come I can't go on a break? Achievement unlocked gold. Sell half a million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We just got word that High Noon 2 Target, which was recently released by SKS Systems, has racked up over 500k in sales. If this game were a music record, it would have gone. It would have gold status. The excitement around the game seems to have no end. That is awesome. I'm very happy. There is a clear trend towards strategy games recently. Well, you know what that means, gamers. It's time to develop another sequel. We're gonna go way back. We're going to make a sequel for Die France Die. It's going to be called DFD 2 Touche. <laughs> it's going to be a mature game. It's going to be on the PC. It's going to have this one. 3D graphics. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, Gamepad, save game, cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything seems good. A strategy game. We need a hell of an engine. Gameplay. Stories quest. Somewhere like this. Oh, I never noticed this n number over here. There we go. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Dialogues. We're doing a strategy, so dialogues are. <laughs> level design and artificial intelligence. Boom. Get those numbers up there. And it's still ranked 2. High Noon 2 Target is now off the... It's so... Six, good God! 4.8 million in sales! We need to get stereo sound as soon as possible. That'd be awesome. Okay, world design. Here. Sound. Right about here. I'm going to bump up world design a little bit. It's awesome. That is awesome. Look at our technology. Oh, I forgot to market it. Some magazines. Hype 10. Oh my god, look at the technology on this game. Yeah. No, oh, you made another bug. Alright, guys, ready? Let's see how well we did on this one. New record! Wow, that's awesome. I'm excited about this. Oh, we almost leveled up world design. That would have been awesome. 3D graphics is up there a little bit. I went up some. Ben went up some. But you'll have to see how the game does next time, gamers, on SKS Plays Game Dev Tycoon. I will see you next time.